What's up everybody? It's Billy here. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a 4k blu-ray hunting video today. Now the really big thing released I'm excited to get is um, Brad, Brad Pitt's uh, new film called Bullet Train. Now that one's gonna have only two exclusives. Uh, the Best Buy uh, Steelbook and Walmart is gonna have a, um, a different artwork. Like I think that's what Walmart is gonna keep doing. Like every new um, popular movies they come out and then the 4k cover is gonna have a a different artwork so yeah that's that's what's up with uh walmart and basically that's it and uh and other more releases so there's we, we got a couple hand handful of releases like coming out this day uh we got another uh pickup that i'm excited to get is um dc's new animation film called uh batman and superman battle of the super sons it's about um batman and superman's kids like they're about they have to save their dad so that i'm actually excited to get and uh, another new thing released is this movie called um bodies 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 um we're gonna be calling it um triple bodies because i'm not gonna be saying that through the whole video it's it's a horror movie um it's that movie with um it has um the homie uh pete davidson in it now that movie um, i'm actually not excited to get and um we'll see uh what new what stuff is brand new so yeah and uh new games um and actually there is a new game that came out like today today and it's called the um a a plug tail with Curium. it's this it's this uh survival game with this chick and her brother had to survive with swarm rats oh it's um it's actually a sequel uh, this game called the plug tail with Curium. Uh, i forgot what was the um the first game called like it's called a pillow tale but i don't know what the rest is but anyways uh i guess we'll go see what new stuff we'll see anyways uh let's go to our first destination and let's go all right then our first stop let's get inside target all right over here in the new releases we do got the uh the 4k of bullet train right here nice with the awesome artwork right here and we also got the uh, the Blu-ray of Blood Train and and that oh that and the DVD version as well. And I told you this was coming out this Easter Sunday with uh, Joy K. I, I'm not really excited for that movie, but oh well, here we go. And uh, we also got the uh, the Blu-ray of Battles of the uh, Super Sons right here, and only the uh, the DVD version of Triple Bodies. That's what it's called. And also we also got the uh, four-year anniversary of ET the Extra expressions with the uh oh here's what the uh, inside looks like huh i don't i don't even have this movie but soon i will have this though and we also got what is this movie called the uh the deer king huh i don't know what's that and uh i think i think this is new right here this uh american forest trailer with the sicario wind fever and hello high water huh not bad not a bad collection for this and uh what's this Mac and Ryder, I don't know what that is about. And uh so yeah, that's basically all the new releases. Um I'm actually getting the uh the Walmart exclusive, but oh wait, hold on, let me show you guys. I want to show you guys at the uh the other side to see like what else is new. Like for now this is what uh Target looks like. These are all just some uh, movie deals, but when you go around the back, like where all the uh the music stuff, you can you kinda will see um like what kind of rejects they get, like such as a Jurassic World collection. Well, there's supposed to be a four K of that, and the uh, and there sometimes there's like steelbooks right here. Like sometimes. Oh, and I looked at the um video game collection. Uh, there's some, there's they don't have the the game the the Peltel with Korean, so <sighs> that sucks. I don't know if they uh, install it, but anyways, there's nothing much here to see. So let's go back to the car. Before we leave, remember like my like the last two videos like why is target uh making all these noises and i said they're rebuilding uh this is why so yeah look at the um uh, the new stuff they have like on this side they have these um ps4 greatest hits right here but now look they uh they upgraded it like now you can see the games like that you can take you can take map put them in the uh the check the the, uh, the checkout or you can or you can like pull out that stuff so yeah it's cool like they get to do that right now so yeah this is what the uh, the new upgrade i looked at the xbox nothing much but yeah i can't wait for a uh, god of war Ragnarok. rock oh i can't wait for that so yeah this is what the uh the new upgrade they've been doing 
so yeah all these noises they make that they're doing like the drilling and all that stuff that's that's what they pretty much doing but anyways uh, let's actually go back to the car oh righty then uh it's cool they got all the stocks out um i totally forgot the um the 40 year anniversary of et the extra i you know i'm just gonna say just et and it's cool they uh they ha that target has the um the steelbook, the 4K steelbook in there. I thought it was gonna be like a um, a Best Buy thing, but anyway, that's cool. So yeah, um, no exclusive for um, Bullet Train. They just only have the um, the regular 4K and the regular Blu-ray and the DVD, and um, they only have the um, the only Blu-ray copy of uh, Batman and Superman: Battle of the Super Sons. So yeah, there we go. And uh, I totally forgot the um, Easter Easter Sunday that Joy's. Ah oh, crap! I forgot. I forgot his name. So yeah, that, that's another um, a comedy film. Like if everybody likes to see, and uh, it sucks that we didn't get to see the um, the copy of a Plague Tale with Quarium, the uh, the video game. So yeah, that sucks. And uh, basically, that's much they got. And it's cool. They um, they upgraded the um, the PlayStation the PlayStation sections. Like we can now grab copies and take them to the chart. So yeah, that's kind of tight. Uh, anyway, so, um, review time. Um, uh, this is gonna be a, a, a short one. Um, the movie that I saw last week, which is what everybody was seeing, is, um, it is the final and the ending of Halloween End. So, uh, so, what'd you guys think of it? Yeah, me too. Um, did I like it? Um, I thought it was in an okay movie uh so what is my opinion on this movie um like i know uh, like is this the ending like we get like the the last two halloween movies like they were they were like so great like i actually love it but now in this um uh, i thought i thought they can do better but hell at least at least we got an ending to the um the halloween uh trilogy though uh the other franchise we can just like ignore actually I don't even like them, and uh, and I never even watched them. Actually, no, I did watch the um, the H two O and the uh, Resurrection. So yeah, I, I'm 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 kind of a a liar. So yeah, and the uh, the remake of Rob Zombie one. So yeah, so Halloween ends. Uh, what's this what's this movie about? It takes place at the end. Well, no, it didn't. Like at the end of the um, a Halloween Kills. Like it took like it took place in 2018. Yeah, 18. So on the next, so when the, so when the movie started, it opened on Halloween 2019. Like, did we thought that Michael Myers will strike back again? But apparently, no, he did not. So yeah, so yeah. Um, in the opening, there's this guy named um Corey, played by uh Roham Campbell. I don't know where is he from. He was just um babysitting this kid, and something strangely happened to that little kid. And uh, so yeah, basically, what Michael Myers did in Halloween Two, when when Michael was killing again, it started to affect on people. Like everybody's starting to lose their minds. Like they're starting to act crazy because they think like Michael is actually gonna strike back again. So yeah, basically, Michael has not returned killing through. So yeah, the movie takes place in four years. So that means that's this year. Like Michael Myers has not returned. So, yeah, and um, Laurie Strug, she was kind of a thinking like she might that uh, he might come back, but he actually didn't. So it's starting to upset her uh, granddaughter Allison, played by Andy McKechnie. Crap, I totally forgot her name. So yeah, so yeah, through the past uh, the years, everybody is starting to lose their minds. They're starting to kill each other and uh, hanging themselves because they. Because it's starting to affect what Michael did, so yeah, that really sucks. So, anyway, so uh, what what is my other opinion on this movie? Um, I'm not gonna spoil it too much. Oh, well, I know. Um, I know the movie is streaming on Peacock. I know everybody. I know everybody saw spoiling the half of the scenes on YouTube. So, on this video, I'm not gonna spoil much as I can. Um, uh, let's let's get to the uh, other characters like i said uh jamie and andy are bad guys playing on laurie and allison uh james judge country is back up playing michael myers but it sucks that um nick foster i think that i think i i got his last name right 
that he that he's not returning uh, on Halloween ends. Like that that really sucks. Uh, and then, of course I did uh, mention the um, the actor who played Corey um, Rohan Campbell, and we also got um, Will Patton re returning as Frank again, and uh, the beautiful Kelly Richards as L Lindsay. And goddamn, in this movie, whew, she fine as hell. So yeah, uh, let's see. What else in my opinion? Uh, I thought it was a uh, not a bad movie, but hell, at least we got a an ending of the uh, the trilogy. So at least it's still Blumhouse. That's one thing, and this is and it is directed by the the same director, um, David Gordon Green. So yeah, and he and he's also returning back to Blumhouse to make a a new ex an exorcism, the sequel of the exorcism. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. So yeah, I can't wait for that. So anyways, you guys, so that's my review of Halloween Ends. Um, did I love it? Not really, but I actually enjoyed it and I can't wait until it comes out. So yeah, that's my review of Halloween Ends. It's now in theaters and is and it's only ex exclusively streaming on Peacock. So now you can watch it home. So anyways, let's go to our next destination and let's go. Alright, our second stop, we gotta save money to live better at Walmart. Let's go right inside. Alright, over here in the new releases. What? Where's where's Bullet Train? No. They don't have Bullet Train, they don't have uh the, the battles of the super pets. Oh, I see what the problem is. Oh crap. So yeah, uh Walmart is make is having a makeover, so yeah, I think it's a bad time. But I really wanted that um the the Walmart exclusive 4K cover of Blue Train. No crap. I think I think I'm gonna have to get the uh, the regular one at Best Buy. But crap, I am so sorry, you guys. Like you don't get to see nothing exclusive. Crap. I I think we're just gonna skip. Or let, let me see what's the uh, the hold up hold up. Oh, righty then. Um. So yeah, shockingly, um, I asked um what's going on, but the strangest thing on um, they're they're having a um an instruction uh that what's going on to, in this Walmart. So yeah, and I also asked um if do they have a a copy of Bullet Train the uh, the 4K the Walmart exclusive, but they say uh they have a lot of boxes like they don't want to get into like well they are gonna get into but crap i don't know if i should like come back like i actually want the on um, the walmart exclusive crap but i really want bullet train like right now <laughs> so yeah um i guess i'm gonna have to pick up the uh the original uh, 4k just like from target so anyway so yeah it really sucks like like i don't know any other walmarts like this is the only walmart that i know like what's close uh the other like i don't know any other walmarts because there is another Walmart that I know, but it's actually just a um a marketplace. This is a uh this is a uh, uh how do you call this? A um a super serious I totally forgot what it's called. So yeah, there's different there's different types of Walmarts like they have like only groceries and pharmacy and some Walmarts that have gr the same thing but with clothes and electronics and all that stuff. So yeah, it sucks that uh, this Walmart it's the only thing I know. So yeah, sorry you guys. Um, I'm gonna have to pick up the uh, the original uh, 4K cover of Bullet Train, but oh well. But anyways, let's go to our second destination, to our final destination, and no second review. So let's go. All right, last but definitely not least, Best Buy, and this is a bad time to be here at 11:30, but we'll see if they got everything. All right, over here in the new releases, man, nothing in the bag besides the uh, last week's release. All right, let's go around the back. Uh, anything on the sides? You always gotta check the sides. Now, oh, look what we got right here. Hell yes, where is it? Oh, here it is. We do got the uh, the 4K copy of Bulletin right here, which I'm about to get. Oh, they still got some of the uh, the Godfather stuff right here, like such the uh, the steel books and the original 4K. And also, we do got the uh, triple bodies on blu-ray and on on 4k huh that's weird i'm not really excited to get this movie but at least we got a 4k but where's um 
Where's our Batman and Superman? Huh. Oh yeah, and we also got the uh, the Scary Good deal. So whatever horror movie you guys want, here's that. Um, I'm probably gonna wait for a couple of minutes because there's this guy in the bag, like still stocking the uh, new releases. So I'm just gonna play a, a little bit of Pac-Man and wait until he's actually done. So BRB. All right, I'm back in. I'm back. Uh, the, the continue, and we do got the uh, the 4K of Batman Superman Battle of the Super Sons, which I'm also gonna be getting. We do got a lot of 4Ks, and uh, oh yeah, what the hell is this? Like what? I mean, do you guys like this movie, um, Warzone Punisher? I mean, not a bad um, slip, but this movie, um, I'm not, I don't bother of getting this. I just like the um, the first one, but this one, uh, I don't really enjoy that movie so much. And also, this is new right here. The um, I never seen the uh, the original one, but this is an origin story of Oprah's first kill. But this is a um, a Paramount Plus exclusive, but now it's releasing for the first time on. Blu-ray, that's kind of tight. And uh, I think this is new right here. Oh, and this is new as well. The, um, the fog right here. I don't know what this is about. Huh, any actors I know right here? Oh, I know the, the homie right here. Huh. So I guess this is new. And uh, this is new as well. Like, do you guys remember when the trailer came out? Like, it came out, like, in the beginning of 2020. Like, that's so weird. Like, this movie's finally releasing for the first time. And uh, let's see what else is new. What else is new? Oh, I I did miss this out. Did, did I miss this out? The uh, I know what you did last summer. I'm not a huge fan of this movie because, like, to me with horror movies like these, it's just I don't really enjoy watching these so much. Uh, anything else is new? There's gonna be a what else? What else? What else? What, oh yeah, I did. I did miss this out. The uh, Easter Sunday right here, but the only on the blue right here. And I did find this at Target, so I I think this is new right here. Oh no. This is new right here, the uh, the Michael Sarah and Michael J. Jackson right here, the uh, the Pause of Fear right here. I never seen it, but I heard this movie was really fun. Uh, anything else is new? Anything else? Uh, I guess basically that's it. Um, no steelbook for a uh, bullet train, so yeah, I'm just. Uh, so yeah, uh, today was in, wasn't that bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up these two right here, which I'm ex I'm excited to get. So. I'm just gonna have a look around and see what else is new, so I'll meet you guys back in the car. Alrighty then. Hey, when's the uh, Ace Ventura's coming to 4K? Hmm. But anyway, so yeah, uh, <clears throat> what a day. Actually, not not a bad day. Well, especially especially for Walmart, which is sucks that I wanted to pick up the uh, Walmart exclusive of a bullet train, but crap i got the uh, original 4k which that really sucks but anyways uh when i got here at like at 11 30 um i did see a uh, bullet train was in stock but i was afraid like if the guy did not um stock the batman and superman and uh all the other new releases so i spent time at uh, starbucks and uh so yeah basically he only gets finished like at 12 30 so Oh yeah, and I forgot to check um if the other good Best Buy was finished. So yeah, I forgot to um do that. Like I forgot to check if they're done or not. But I hope the this week I will check and I'll let you guys know. But anyways, so far everything was good. But anyways, what did I pick up today? I picked up two things, and the first thing I picked up is one of the greatest action pack comedy movie of all time, and that is Brad Pitt a uh, Bullet Train. Uh, what this movie is about? Uh, it's about um Brad Pitt's character. He's like he's working for this um agent agency. Like he's basically like a hitman. So um every time he doesn't like um when innocent people like die or something bad happen is going on with him. And uh ever since he got injured, he was like taking a break and now he's coming back uh w once again to do to get back on the field. So yeah. So yeah, that's what this movie's all about. Um his new his operation name is uh Ladybug. That means like if he has bad luck, he will never get bad luck at all. So basically, through the whole movie, he'll he'll be getting some good luck, which that's actually cool. But anyway, so what's his mission? Um, his mission is to get in this train called the Bullet Train, which is um set in Japan, and uh, his mission is to get this briefcase, and uh, and all and all these um other assassins, which we got all these characters, which we'll be getting. They're all going after it, so yeah. 
It's cool. Like they have, they have some really cool characters. Like let's get to the uh, other characters. Of course, we got the homie, um, Aaron Aaron Taylor Johnson, right? Oh, crap, I think that's his name. Oh, I can I can just look at the names. Uh, we got um, Aaron Taylor Johnson. So yeah, I was right uh, from uh, Kick Ass and Godzilla. So, so we got that. Um, his his agent name is um, Tatooine, along with his um, twin brother right here, the homie um, Brian Taylor Henry uh as uh lemon so yeah these two they're basically brothers and their mission is to keep this um guy oh yeah even though all the assassins like it was more like a um a setup because this is a uh, main villain he's he's getting all these assassins together because one of them had a dark past and and then there's the cost of it so yeah uh so anyways we got the twins right here and we also got uh let's see we got joyce kin right here uh, we got her, uh, where did she, hmm. and that's Sherlock's brother, and also this, uh, this guy right here, uh, he's basically a musician right here, um, my sister, she hears him a lot, I don't know what's his name, I think his name is, um, Main Rabbit, so yeah, he's part of a, uh, a cartel assassination of it on his, and on his wedding, uh, everything got bad, so yeah, basically this, this movie is great, um, uh, it's directed by, uh, David Lynch, the, um, the filmmaker of Deadpool 2, Atomic Blonde, on uh, Sean and Hobbs, and and part of the uh, John Wick uh, trilogy right here. So yeah, again, this movie is great, and this is the last movie I had to see with my uh, little brother when he moved to Texas, and I stayed in Denver, Colorado. But anyways, I got Blow Train, great movie. I can't wait to see this movie once again because I really love this movie. Like, there's so many mixed reviews of this, but. I really enjoy this movie so much. But anyways, so there's that. And my second pickup, which I was I was actually really excited and really interested in this movie. And that is um, DC animation film, uh, Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons. It's basically about uh, Batman and Superman of their kids right here. We got Damien and... Crap, what's Superman's son's name? Yeah, I totally forgot. Oh yeah, uh, what you guys think of Superman's son being a bisexual? But I, I don't really care. It's just... I just love hearing new things. So yeah, it's basically about um, Starro, Starro the octopus, the the starfish. It's taking control and, it, and it's starting to affect on Batman and Superman and it's up to uh, their sons to save them. So I can't wait to see this. When I first saw the trailer, I was like, holy crap, this this should be really interesting. Like screw waiting for this to come to HBO Max. I'm, I'm getting it right now. And that is all I picked up today. So. Yeah, it sucks I didn't pick up the um, the Walmart exclusive of Blood Train, and it sucks that we didn't get to see. Actually, I'm, I, I doubt that we're not gonna see any um, Sony uh, Steelbooks movies on Best, on Best Buy because we always we always don't get to see them very well. But anyway, so that pretty much wraps everything up. Wraps everything up. So uh, drop a like, uh, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Of mine. So take care and peace.